Say hi, Tech Crew. Hi, Tech Crew. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Star Room. I'm Phil, and today we're going to do a lesson about moms. You all have a mom out there, and here's a picture of my mom when she was a little girl standing by a really cool old car. Well, it wasn't old then. But enough about me. Let's talk about you and your moms. Today we're going to do two fun projects. First, we're going to read a fun story about moms called Are You My Mother? And then we're going to do a cool path paper. You're probably wondering, why are we doing another path paper? Well, I'll tell you why we're doing another path paper. Because it'll help you work on your scissor skills for kindergarten, but also this path paper tells the story of the book, so you can tell the story at home. Ha! It makes sense. Now let's get started. Come on over here, we'll read the story. The name or title of our book is, Are You My Mother? And I want to add, it's by P.D. Eastman. Lots of people think it's by Dr. Seuss, but it's not. P.D. Eastman worked for people who produced Dr. Seuss books. Little fun fact for you. Now, let's get started. The name or title of our book is, Are You My Mother? And when we're done, a big person's going to ask you the four questions. They'll ask you question number one, what is the name or title of the book? They'll ask you question number two, who are the characters inside the book? There are a whole lot of them. They'll ask you question number three, what happened? And they'll ask you question number four, did you like it? So let's get started. The name or title of our book is, Are You My Mother? Has anybody seen my glasses? Oh, there they are. Are you my mother? And the book starts now. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh my, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be right back. So away she went. The egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped. And out came a baby bird. Where is my mother? He said. He looked for her. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Down out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. <whistles> Bonk. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. I am not your mother. I am a dog said the dog. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How can I be your mother? Said the cow. I am a cow. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. 
Did he have a mother? I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will. I will. Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. Now he looked way, way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called out to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up. He saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, he called out. But the big plane did not stop. The plane went on. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. But the big thing just said, snort. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort. I have to get out of here. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up and up. Up, up went the baby bird. But now, where was the snort going? Oh, 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 what is the snort going to do with me? Get me out of here! Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I, said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Then something happened. The snort put the baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You are not a cow. You are not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. The end. Now, let's get to work. You're going to make a really cool path paper. Now, as I mentioned before, our path papers are important because they help us work on our cutting and it can help us tell the story of Are You My Mother? which you can tell people at your house. So let's get started. First, you're gonna take your marker or a crayon and write your name at the top because your kindergarten teacher will want that. So here's my name, P-H-I-L. Now I'm going to hold my marker the right way. Check the how to hold your crayon video. And I'm gonna start at the baby bird and I'm gonna try really hard to stay on the path by the kitten and by the hen and the dog and the cow and past the snort and back to the nest. Now, I'm gonna get my scissors with thumbs up when I cut. You can check the video about how to find good scissors. And I'm gonna cut up some cardboard. I have, oh, this was from aluminum foil, this is from a tissue box, and from a cereal box. Remember, you have lots of good stuff at home. And I'm gonna do my snipping. Snip, 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 snip. When I have a pile, I'm gonna set my scissors aside, and a big person is gonna help me with the glue. Remember, sticky, hot, sharp, always ask a big person to help. So, We'll put our glue on the path all the way to the nest, and then we'll put on our little pieces of cardboard. Now, you can take a look back at mine. You may notice there's a pattern. I have pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow. That's a fun thing to try to do. It's a beginning math skill, but if you don't have things like that, just use what you have. And when you're done, make sure to hang it up because people will want to see that. Check back for more fun videos, and we'll see you next time in the Star Room.